What's up, gals and pals? I'm Coach Vino. This is The Progress Bar. And ladies and gentlemen, last weekend, my pal and loyal subscriber, Dave Williams, sent me a DM on Instagram asking me for some ginger syrup cocktail recipes. Now, I'm always happy to help out a friend, and I love ginger syrup, so I checked through my little cocktail Rolodex, <laughs> and I sent them five recommendations. But while I was looking through my Rolodex, I realized there was one ginger syrup cocktail that I actually I never made before. For. So I didn't send them that one because I say, you know what, I'm going to make that one on YouTube. It has some summery vibes and with summer coming to an end, I figured, you know what, let me squeeze that one in. All right, folks. Now this cocktail is called Without Faculty and it was created by bartender Tony Burke of Washington, D.C. So apparently he made the cocktail because his dad is a big dessert fan and this cocktail apparently has some kind of banana foster stuff going on. So he paid a, uh, as an homage to his father. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and make that cocktail for you guys. But before I do that, I'm going to need you to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and that notification bell so you can help Vino feed the hungry, hungry algorithm. And make sure you stick around because we're about to buggy down. <laughs> All right, folks, let's go ahead and look at what is in the sauce for our Without Faculty cocktail. Now, the first thing we're going to use is a half an ounce of our ginger syrup, right, folks? So, uh, you know, again, you know, I always say when it comes to ginger syrup, you know, depending on how you make it, the cocktail gets a little extra spice. And I always find that that really helps to bring out a lot of the flavors in the cocktail. You know, the spice just makes the whole palate wake up. You know what I'm saying? The next thing we're going to do is use three quarters an ounce of lemon juice. Right? Got my super lemon juice here. And then we're going to do a half an ounce of banana liqueur. I've used the crap out of banana liqueur this summer. Um, I use my homemade stuff. So, um, you know, it's, it's always nice to make homemade stuff and, and actually use it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is a fresh bottle in here. And then we're going to do two ounces of bourbon. Now, at the time that he created this cocktail, apparently he was a rep for or brand manager for Angel's Envy. So he uses Angel's Envy in his recipe. Angel's Envy is my favorite sipping bourbon. Always have this stuff in stock, but you should definitely use whatever your favorite bourbon you have. All right, folks? So we're going to do two ounces of bourbon your favorite bourbon. All right, excellent, all right, good. So now we're just gonna go ahead and add some ice to our shaker. I wanna shake that off for about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, folks, I think we shook that bad boy up enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my glass out. You're gonna be serving that in a rocks glass. All right, you're gonna wanna just put a big old cube in there and then we're gonna go ahead and pour in our concoction. All right, around the nose, I'm getting that ginger syrup, which is very, very pleasant, mixed also with the bourbon. You get those beautiful bourbon notes as well. All right, excellent. This is one I'm pretty sure is gonna be a whole run for me. Um, so I'm very excited to try it out. It reminds me a bit of a cocktail I made recently on the channel called The Sinker which was kind of a penicillin riff, which is just definitely playing in that ballpark as well, okay? And, and then in terms of garnish, we're gonna go ahead and just add three drops, okay? Three drops of tiki bitters, all right? Now, if you don't got tiki bitters, go ahead and use like three drops of Angostura bitters. Um, you just want something aromatic, all right, guys? So one, two, and three, there you go. Excellent, and I do love my tiki bitters. If you don't have this stuff, you should definitely pick it up. And then I'm just gonna garnish that with a little thing I made over here. It's a little banana slice with a little ginger peel there, a little candied ginger, just to get all fancy with it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like to get fancy once in a while. You know what I'm saying? This kid from the Bronx likes to get fancy. <laughs> all right, folks, well, there you have it, our Without Faculty Cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and give our Without Faculty a sippy sip. Cheers. I mean, that's an easy one, guys. That is, that is, <laughs> that's a slam dunk, guys. I really, really like this. Mm. Yeah, you know, that bite from the ginger syrup. My ginger syrup, I do make it a little extra spicy. So that bite is just opening up my palate and it's allowing everything else to kind of just shine through. I mean, even those tiki bitters right on top, are beautiful because it adds like an evolution to the cocktail because at first you get those real 
tiki uh, notes, which is very uh, uh, like hardman and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden you get the, the ginger just opening up and then the bourbon just sits out there and just says, you know what guys, this is my party. This is my house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you, so you get those beautiful cherry notes, some oaky notes. And Angel's Envy is a port cast, so you do get some beautiful, you know, like, like wine raisiny notes and stuff like that. Super delicious, guys. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, I, I, I gotta thank my buddy Dave Williams for asking me to send him some stuff because I totally forgot I had this in my roll decks of cocktails to try. And I'm so glad I did it before I, I put away my winter, my, my summer cocktails. Cause once I go four cocktails, winter cocktails, I'm all in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, folks, hey Dave, if you uh, need another ginger syrup cocktail, buddy, try this one out, all right? Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.